morning, everybody. This is breakfast time again. Hallelujah. Happy new week. Happy new month. In Jesus' name, it's my joy to welcome you to the first Monday of October 2019. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is God not faithful? Praise Master Jesus. As I always say, we are not better than those that are no more. Hallelujah. We do not despise them. We just give God praise for his mercies upon our lives. And my greatest prayer is that God will help us not to disappoint him, not to disappoint ourselves, and not to also disappoint our generation. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Without wasting much of our time, I quickly want to share with us briefly from the book of Matthew chapter number 5, verse 13. Hallelujah. I'm using the NLT. He said, you are the salt of the earth. But what good is salt if it loses its flavor? Can it be made useful again? It will be trampled out. It will be thrown out and trampled underfoot as worthless. Praise Master Jesus. He said, you are the salt of the earth. I am the salt of the earth. We all know the functions of salt. Salt gives flavor. Salt gives uh, salt is for preservation, salt is for healings, and so many other functions. And we all know salt is white, there are some that are crystal like. Hallelujah! I like the amplified version. He said, When salt loses its purpose, he said, It is thrown on the ground, it is thrown out when the ground is wet and slippery, that men may, may, may walk on it. And I pray that's not our portion in Jesus Christ's name. The Bible is making us to understand Jesus was telling us here. That we are the salt, or Jesus is telling us we are the salt of the earth. He expects us to give flavor to wherever we are. He expects us to preserve, to preserve the, the gospel and to preserve the Christian values. Hallelujah. He said, when the salt, he said, when the salt loses its flavor, it will be worthless. And I remember I've asked this question: can salt lose its flavor? And so many persons told me no. Salt can lose its flavor. When it's been mixed with something, hallelujah. We all know salt is white and sugar is white. And they, they, they look so much alike. When you not carry the sugar and mix it with salt, it's no longer salt. You can't cook with it. Though some people cook with it, that's their way of cooking. But I'm talking about Africa, I'm an African woman. We can't cook. I can't make soup with that. Praise the Lord. The fact that spinach is a green leaf and bitter leaf is a green leaf does not make the two of them bitter leaf. Hallelujah. When spinach is added to bitter leaf, it's no more bitter leaf. Something has been added to it. It has been defied, that bitter leaf. It may still be bitter, but it's not bitter leaf 100% which you know it. And salt can lose its taste in various ways. Some are deliberate actions and some are unknowingly. Praise the Lord. Like some of the deliberate actions I want to discuss. One, when you know this is salt, and you just decide to add sugar to it. You just deliberately wanted to add sugar to it. Praise the Lord. That is a deliberate action. And because you've added sugar to it, you can't add it to tea. And say, okay, let me drink tea with sugar and salt. No, you can't do that. Praise the Lord. Those are some deliberate... You deliberately added it. At times, you deliberately... For example, I deliberately at times just take little spinach and put inside the bitter leaf because it's too bitter. I just want something else. I just needed... A mind taste, hallelujah. Those are deliberate. And there are some that you didn't know. And you just did it. Praise Master Jesus. Salt, you are meant to preserve. You are meant to give flavor to wherever you find yourself as a child of God. You are meant to represent. You are meant to stand separated. The only way you cannot be contaminated as salt is that you will not compromise. Hallelujah. You will not compromise. You are going to stand, you, you, you are standing your ground for who you are. That will take me to the book of Daniel chapter number 3. When he was talking about the three Hebrew boys. You know, I was sharing it in church yesterday. I said, do you know the Bible makes us to understand that they went to the country and raided everyone in that country and brought them as slaves to Babylon. Getting to Babylon. I said, the amazing thing I saw was that they said, these three boys did not bow before the golden image of Nebuchadnezzar. Then I asked them, many others bowed. 
Many others bow for the fear of the fun, uh, the fiery fullness. Others bow. But these TV boys refuse to contaminate their salt because they understand that they are salt. They refuse to compromise. Meaning in a whole nation that was brought captive, only three people could stand out. My question to you and to myself as well is, are you standing out? Hope your salt has not lost its saltiness. Hope your salt has not lost its taste. Praise Master Jesus. And these boys stood their ground. They deliberately, even when they saw us, or when they saw every opportunity to, 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 to compromise, when they saw every opportunity to be added to, they just said, no, we can't do that. Hallelujah. That is why I said it can be deliberate. Or you've not taken note that it was only three people that did not bow. Then where are the rest? Meaning the rest people bow. I pray even as we are in this end time, I pray God help us that we will not lose our saltiness. Not even in the face of trials and tribulations. That we will not lose our taste. We will not lose our taste. And let me tell you one thing. Because these brothers, they stood their ground and refused to lose their saltiness and refused to be trampled upon. The whole nation was preserved. The whole nation was preserved. And they saw a new flavor. They saw Christ. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And if you look at verse 15, he said, don't, uh, verse 14, he said, you are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. You are a city set upon the hill, glowing in the night for all to see. The world is looking up to me and to you as children of God. They want to see us stand out. They want to see us not compromising so that they can as well follow. Are you standing out or you are compromising? Are you bending to the society or are you buying to the fearfulness of Nebuchadnezzar? I said there are so many things that will make, that will come to try your assault. But I just want to encourage you this morning. Keep holding on. You are salt. You are salt. The fact that sugar is white and salt is white does not mean they have the same function. Your purpose here on earth is different. And dear beloved brothers, dear beloved sister, I want you to stay focused on that purpose and God will not fail us in Jesus Christ's name. My name remains Vitria Desua Igori Oragmo. Please do have a stress-free week and a happy new month in Jesus Christ's name. Shalom.